Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Etla Rad and you are watching World Freaks. In this video, I am going to show the IPA 15 mark question which was asked in the previous year IPA exam. So let's begin with it. So in this video, I am going to show the new task that finds the last letter of each word in a string. So this is the task that we are going to solve in today's video. So the task is very very easy. So it can be solved in various number of methods and I am using two methods for solving it. And uh, let me move into the task. So for that I am giving an input as hello how are you and I am getting the output as O W E U. So the reason why I am getting this uh, particular output is so you can be able to notice in each uh, word in a string that in hello the last word is last letter is O and uh, how the last letter is W in R the last letter is E in U the last letter is U okay so we can be able to notice the last letters in each word in a string so you want to print that particular last letter in each word in a string so for that we are using the java programming so let's move into the coding session guys so we completed our explanation let's move into the coding session so guys finally we are entering into the coding session so for this coding i am using java as my programming language and i am using visual studio code as my code editor so guys finally I think that everybody understood the question that we are going to discuss about in today's session. So the question is to find the last letter of each word in a string. So for that I am going to begin the coding. So for that I am going to create a new class known as last.java. So I created a new file name called last.java and I am going to initialize a main method. Okay, I am going to initialize a scanner class scanner is equal to no scanner of system dot in okay so I am going to import this scanner class which okay I imported it and I am going to buy the string input from the user string s equal to sc dot next line and I am going to initialize the string as a in the form of a double quotes I, this uh, s string s you know it is the answer that I am going to get so I am representing in the form of a double quotes so wait a second there is a small error so I initialize this uh, double times ok so then I am going to put a for loop for int i equal to 0 i less than str dot length slash semicolon i plus plus ok then I am going to initialize inside that loop I am going to put a if condition is that if str dot caret of i equal to equal to single quotes okay then if the condition is satisfied wait a second I am going an error okay okay I didn't put a double equal to okay so uh, if the condition is satisfied then I am good putting an another condition if condition is that if character dot is alphabet is sorry character dot if alphabet of str dot caret character of i minus 1 ok so if this condition is satisfied I am putting as s equal to s plus str dot caret of i minus 1 semicolon ok so I understood that everybody understood it so if the character of the uh, if the character is an alphabet so it has to satisfy this condition this will be uh, proposed there so I am putting it and then I am going to uh, if this condition is not satisfied I am putting an else, else condition else if condition okay sorry else if condition is that i equal to equal to str dot length minus 1 and if uh, or else and character is alphabet of i character dot is half so sorry is alphabet of str dot caret of i my i okay so if these both conditions are satisfied then i have to initialize as 
s equal to s plus str dot character of i so i'll be getting this so after uh, all the executions i will be coming outside the loop and i will be printing the yes okay one minute i will be printing this yes so the yes is the answer of our particular code so i think that everybody understood the code so if you didn't understood it i will be putting another code so the another method is very very simple so you can be able to look into that also So guys, finally we are entering into the output session. So I think that everybody understood the code and as well as the question. So if you didn't understood the code, don't worry guys. I will be explaining deeply in the method two because I am going to put method two also. So this is the output for the method one. So I am. Uh, so my task is to find the last letter of a uh, string of the given word of the word. Okay. So then I am going to give the string input as hello how are you okay so then i am going to get to the output as o w e and u so i will be getting the output as o w e u here so we got the output as o w e u so this is our output of our given code so i think that everybody is uh, understand the code as well as the output so if you don't understand it don't worry guys i will be pu putting and uh, method 2 guys this is the output for method 1 okay so i will be putting method 2 so guys finally we are entering into the method 2 so i think that everybody understood the method 1 so if you don't understood it uh, there is no problem guys uh, you will be understanding me thoroughly in method 2 so i am uh, as Uh, all as previous i am using this java programming and i am using visual studio code as my code editor so i, I am going to create a new class i am going to create a new class file name called last.java i created a new class called last.java and i am going to initialize a main method and i am going to initialize a scanner class scanner is equal to new scanner of system. dot in and i have imported this scanner class import java dot util dot scanner okay then i am going to uh, by the string input from the particular user string str equal to next line sc dot next line okay then i am going to uh, initialize this string value as null so i am going to initialize this string value in the form of a double quotes so uh, initialize this string value as null okay so then i am going to initialize a for loop for inside that for loop for in the i equal to 0 in the i less than str dot length and i plus plus and then inside that for loop i am going to put if condition is that my if condition is that if str dot caret of i is equal to space Okay, if str dot caret of i is equal to space, then I want to put s equal to s plus str dot caret of i i minus one. So if con this condition is satisfied, I want to put this condition. So then I want to uh, close this. Uh, after completing this, I will be getting a particular value in the form of a s, and after coming out of the loop, I will be printing that value yes. Okay, then. After that, I will be printing the value uh, last letter. So up to this, it will not be printing the last letter. So then it will be printing the last character. So then I am putting str dot caret of str dot length with uh, str dot length. Okay, length minus one. So guys, I will be explaining this. so many persons don't understand this i will be explaining it so suppose i am giving a input as hello how are you so i am gi giving a input as how are you hello how are you and i should get the output as o w uh, i e u okay so i should get, uh, get the output as o w e u and uh, so i am going to Uh, tell the about the particular uh, introduction so i will be giving the particular explanation so for int i equal to 0 i less than str dot length 
uh, i plus plus and if this str dot caret of i i means zero zero is equal to uh, sp space it we are going to check that if this is equal to space okay so if it this is equal to space so then it will be printing i minus one i minus one is o okay so you understand it actually str dot caret of i we are checking that if it is equal to space so the first value is h it is not equal to space the second value is e it is not equal to space and it, the two, third fourth are uh, characters and o are o is a o it is not equal to space okay so the fourth value fourth no sixth value i think this value this value is equal to space so this condition is satisfied and it will be in entering into the condition and then it will be printing the previous value previous value is i minus 1 which is o okay so the o will be stored in this uh, yes okay so then i am going to uh, put the next condition next condition is that if this one is the space if this one contains the space then it should print w so the w will be uh, appended to this yes so then if this is equal to space and this also contains okay sorry the the previous will be printed like e i minus one is e so this uh, so the o w uh, e will be there inside this yes and then last value last value is not equal to space last it does not print space so i put this str dot caret of str dot length minus one so str dot length minus one is this view str dot the total length is this one this number and uh, minus one will, will be this u okay so i think that everybody understood it so there is a small correction in this instead of writing is the system dot out dot print ln it should be print as l system dot out dot print so that it, it will be printed in the form of a vertical manner okay so i under i think that everybody understood this uh, explanation so i will be moving into the output section of this method too so that finally I am entering into the output session so in this output session everybody understood the particular code of the method too so it will be very very clear to you so I explained it very much uh, deeply into that so it must be very very clear to you so it is a very very simple code so I am going to uh, put the particular input for that code so I am going to put as hello how are you as shown in our test case hello how are you so we should get the output as O W E U so we check it okay we got the output as o w e u so this is our output guys so actually i am keep on saying it sir do practice every time every day so that you can be able to gain more solutions to a particular problem so guys uh, keep practicing so that's it guys in our today's session so keep practicing take care guys goodbye tata bye bye see you see you in the next video with a new task bye bye